Hi, I'm Kathleen Parker. I'm currently the Alliance Manager of the Armadale Family Support Network and I previously worked as a Child and Family Advocate at the George Jones Child Advocacy Centre and for six years as a um, Child Witness Progression Officer with the Child Witness Service. So I have worked with um, children, um, young people and their parents over a long period of time and provided them with support at times um, during their lives where they've been um, experiencing a lot of stress and anxiety um, as a result of their experiences of child sexual abuse. My experience of working as an advocate has been different to my experience of working with children and young people in other contexts um, and in other organisations um, because it's allowed me to work uh, with that family over a longer period of time um, when I worked with children and their families in the Department for Child Protection, for example, and also at the Child Witness Service, it was only for a specific time um, and when the organisation had actually completed the work that needed to be done, the child was then referred on to another service. My experience of working as a child and family advocate, for example, at the Child Advocacy Centre, allowed me to work with that child and their family from the very beginning of their journey through the um, criminal justice process and um, sometimes even prior to them even going into the, child, uh, into the uh, criminal justice system. Um, and allowed me to continue to work with that family until they felt that they no longer needed my support. Um, the benefit for the family in, in that um, I was able to work with them over such a long period of time was that they had time to get to know me, to feel confident about um, my ability to support them, to feel confident in me as a professional um, and I think that was really, really important because it built a level of trust um, for that child and for their family, knowing that I was listening to what they were saying, knowing that I would follow up on the things that I said I would follow up and do, knowing that if they asked me a question, that I had the knowledge and the skills to be able to give them um, accurate information. And when I didn't have the answers, knowing that I would go and find out and bring back that information to them, or even better, organise for someone who did have that knowledge and skills to come and meet with them and talk to them themselves. In gaining that level of trust with the family, um, or particularly with the child, it allowed them the space to be able to tell me what it is that was worrying them or concerning them. And I think that I was able to build that level of trust with them so that they felt that they could really tell me what it is that they felt, not what they thought I wanted to hear, and that was very different. Um, I think it's really, really important when we're advocating for children that we do know exactly what it is that they want. We do know exactly how it is that they feel. Otherwise, we run the risk of advocating for something that perhaps we think they need, or our organisation thinks they need, or the system thinks should happen. As we know, working with children who have been sexually abused and who have lost you know, so much um, personal control over their lives, any little aspect that we can um, assist them to um, regain some of that sense of control is really, really important. Often with children that I have worked with, um, their expectations sometimes as they're going through the um, criminal justice system can be unrealistic um, and it's really important that we're clear with children about what we can do, what we can't do, um, what are the things that um, we can do to try and um, support them to have a voice in um, and how can we go about that. So having a really sound knowledge of the system, um, having positive relationships with colleagues in other areas of the criminal justice system, being able to facilitate opportunities for the child to meet with some of the other stakeholders so that they have that opportunity to voice their concerns, to voice their feelings and have those other professionals acknowledge that and talk to the child as 
a valued, important person in the pro in the process is really important.